yo, this is Big Trap. I'm at this studio session with Trey Productions. Hey, Trey, what is going on, man? I'm just chilling, man. Just working hard in the studio. Tell me what is going on in the music industry. Like, all right, what started you out in music? When I was a little kid, I used to make trips to the studio with my father. And that is me. <laughs> And, and ever since I've been doing that, I started to pick up on it. I started to get a little interested. I signed up for a music class at my school, and then I just picked on really well. For one of my birthdays, my parents, they had bought me um, a little keyboard piano. And that, that's where it all started. It all started with this program. I used Logic to make, to make the first instrumental that I ever made in my life. And then, they, then my parents, they blessed me with, with a new program called Machine, my instrumentals, my, my improvement rate on my instrumentals just skyrocketed, it went up so far, and it's still going up, I ain't, I ain't never stopped moving up. Okay, Trey, tell me what can great engineering do for an artist? Great engineering can make even the worst rapper sound really great, and it's vice versa, a bad engineer can make a great rapper sound bad. So we Alright man, Trey, All right. have you been doing any kind of networking, you meet anybody, talk to me? Yeah, I did a couple of networking. I met with a guy named Sean, okay. who is the owner of the studio, Village Time Studio. Alright, I heard of that, I heard of him. Yeah. yeah. He, he lets me use the studio anytime I want because he was very impressed with my work. Okay, that's what's up. Anybody oh. else? Yeah, but also networked with a guy named Ray from Ray Vision. Okay. He has worked with many famous artists, like a couple I can even talk about, like James Jones. Oh, I heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what's up. So, networking. So, would you recommend artists to do more networking since it helped you? Definitely. Okay, that's what's it up. It helped me, I'm sure it can help others. Oh, well, that's what's up. So, you know, you gotta get your networking on. Trey does his All right, Trey, talk to me, man. What is a typical day in the studio? The typical day in the studio is first I go to my producer station and that's where I make my instrumentals. I usually start off with that because I usually have ideas, a fresh ideas in my head when I first get in the studio. That's what's up. And then when I'm done with that, I come over to my engineering station and that's where I work on some of the songs that I have recorded for people. Have you done any events? Do you have any events coming on? Talk to us, man. What's what's going on? What can we can we see you somewhere performing? Yeah. Talk to me, man. There was many events that I've done in the past. Okay. But the main event that I have done in the past was with my two rappers, Max Julian and Tommy D. We we performed at African American Museum. Oh, that place out in Hempstead. Yep. We oh, okay. For a peace show. The theme was peace. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so do you have any projects you're working on now? Yes, I have. I have two instrumentals that I'm almost finished making for um, a signed artist named... Hey Boy Cheese. Yeah. I think I heard of him. He's out in Queens, right? Yeah. Okay, alright. And I'm also working on another instrumental for the P-Show that I just mentioned. Right, they do right. this quarterly, so I'm making another instrumental for that again. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright, man. So, I mean... You're, you're still young right now, man. So, I mean, for you to be doing what you're doing, I mean, that's that's incredible, man. That, that's, you're really Thank doing good. You, I see nothing but gold rolled and Eddie, you, man. So, man, yo, keep up the good work, man. No problem, no problem, man. All right, man, so I'm out. I'm in the uh, Trey Production Studio, and he's doing his thing. I'm gonna let him get back to work. Peace.